What's up, guys? Day 21 is here. The Horde Night is here. I'm scared. I'm really scared, actually. No, I'm fine. I put down the other cement mixer right here. I uh, don't have a lot to do yet, I kind of realize, because I don't have any nitrate powder. I'm low, and I don't have a lot of stone. So I kind of started to break this wall down so I could start a mine. So I kind of started that. But yeah, I have no nitrate powder. I mean, look at this. Tw 12 pieces of nitrate. What the heck? I'm dying over here. Uh, I did make 10 more flaming arrows, arrows and five pipe bombs. So we have more flaming arrows and some pipe bombs to take to the horde tonight. So I think I think it'll be a pretty fun horde. We got some good things to use. We have a lot. There's the little gunpowder I have left. I went and used all the gunpowders to make that stuff. So I think we'll be okay for the horde. I think we'll be just fine. Yeah, I don't have a lot of stone. So getting some stone crafted or getting some stone harvested will be good. Maybe I'll harvest some boulders today, some of the small boulders, because you can get nitrate from that. Uh, if we're, you know, if we're not uh, working on the horde base. Which, speaking of that, we need to go check. Let's go check the garden first. Uh, getting roasted pretty well, and uh, divert deservedly so for not using plates. I literally made a tutorial on how to do a garden, and I told everybody to use plates. To, and everybody's like, use plates, use plates. And I'm like, I should have. And the reason I did it this way is I really thought the road was act act like a plate. I really thought the road would act like a plate and kind of divide it up, but it did not. It screwed it all up, and I'm looking like a buffoon now. So that's oh, that's cool. I will redo this garden and make plates. I oh, I thought that was a dog. I thought my mini bike was a dog for a minute. Oh my god. Um, so we need uh, we need wood. For one, if we're going to do any upgrades or anything like that, and to make spikes, we're going to need a lot of wood for spikes. My trees really aren't quite ready to harvest. So, what do we, what can we do? We could go see the trader and sell all of our crap, but I'm kind of holding off a little bit on the trader. Maybe I can unlock some more traders because we're going to be exploring basically tomorrow. So I'm okay holding off a little bit longer on a trader. Uh, we do have the treasure down there we could go dig up and then get a bunch of trees, but I'd kind of like to spend time making traps. Uh, let's just harvest trees here, but I'd like to go find maybe an area that has some small boulders too that I can get some stone. Like right over here. Perfect. And lots of trees over here. So we're going to spend a little bit of time just harvesting for a little bit. My steel fire axe is about done. I think I have a couple pieces of steel um, ing ingots back at the base that I can repair this with. If not, I can just switch over to my... I'll just make a stone axe and use it. But Getting a bunch of wood would be nice. Uh, getting some nitrate, some coal. I thought that was a bird's nest for a second. Would be nice. Um, but really, I need traps. I need... Just an absolute metric butt ton of traps, and I th and I want I want the uh, the you know the little the wood log traps. I want those for sure. But I also want to make just a, a lot of just regular traps too. You know, I'd like to do that too. So making a bunch of them would be nice. I'm pretty just you know I'm just ready to check out and see what this horde base will do. You know, I'm I'm curious how the zombies will react to it. What side they're going to spawn on? Will they let me do any melee damage? You know, will they let me get some melee action in? Feather. Oh, there you are. All right. What's up, Carl? Carl! Oh, I missed. Whiffed. Oh, will you stop moving? Oh, my God. All right, bullet casings. Cool. We'll take those. Why not? We'll take him. I uh, I put up a poll on YouTube just uh, actually last. I'm recording this Wednesday. This will go out Friday, so I put it out. You know, on Tuesday night. Hey, there an egg. Um, basically asking what everybody's opinion or its opinion is. So if you were granted one wish, you know, you had a genie in the bottle, and he came out and he said. You can have one thing added to Seven Days to Die. Either the console version or the PC version. Just the game in general. You know, because it's all going to be the same in Alpha 22, hopefully. Um, but if you could have one wish granted, what would it be? 
and I kind of did my own little console wish list video the other day, so uh, I did that. And so, you know, the things in there were like kind of the basic stuff, like, you know, give us the update, get us better graphics, you know, split screen, give us split screen, give us mods. And the the, the other the last one I put in was um, maybe like a kind of a battle royale slash um, uh, like a, a, the TV show alone, kind of like a last man standing mode. And I know they're bringing out the the Blood Moons game, and so something on the similar to that, but make it more like Battle Royale. It'd be kind of cool, like you basically start, um, you know, you put 10 people in a map, or 20 people in a map, and it could be the size of Dyersville, it could be a little larger than Dyersville, it could be, you know, a larger map, but you play Seven Days to Die, and basically, you know, you play the game, and whoever is the last man standing wins. It could be a longer game, you could speed it up, and maybe it could be a horde every night, too. Maybe you have a horde every night that comes uh, that you have to deal with. And so the last, you know, the last man standing, of course, will win. So something like that I, I thought would be a lot of fun. But what are your guys' wishes? Um, I'm really curious what the community wants. Uh, I think a lot of it's going to be split screen. I've seen some people, you know, ask for... Um, you know, just bring it up to date with other survival games. Like, one big thing is universal storage. So, if you store something... Uh, so, let's say in PAL World, you put something in storage, you can craft from your storage. Maybe not something like every storage box is linked, like Resident Evil is. But allow us to craft from a storage container. Can you imagine that? Like, as long as it's within your radius of your land claim block... You could craft from in all the storage. Think about all the time we would save not running back and forth. Um, I searched him, right? Okay. Not running back and forth um, dealing with, you know, oh, I need mean, another spring. You guys have seen me do it so much in this series. I need another spring. I need more mechanical parts. You got to run back to your storage. Pal World, if it's in your storage, you can craft from it, which makes sense to me. You know, it just, it eliminates that busy work. Um, so that would be a really cool one, you know, something like that. Uh, somebody else suggested, you know, I mean, Alpha 21 zombies are way different than console. So they're already way different. You got to remember that. Um, I'm going to have to make a stone axe, I think. Can I make a stone? I can't make a stone axe yet. Um, so they're already way different, but somebody suggested, you know, you know, the, the pathing in Alpha 21 and the PC version is all pretty much the same though. Like it's, it's. You know, you can pretty much use their pathing against them if you want. It's very easy to do that. It's very easy to use their own pathing against them. So maybe, you know, have this every every several hours or so, or maybe halfway through a horde night. Oh, another treasure map. Let's read that. Saras. But every, every few minutes, it changes. You know, it changes. Maybe they become more where they're just going to destroy your base. You know, they're not going to come after you. They're just going to attack your base. Oh, let's do the south. Right there. Yeah, we're digging treasures tomorrow, guys. We're digging treasures. There's a trader down there. Um, that Have I marked him on the map? Oh, yeah, I think I, I, think I have. That's my own marker, right? That should be my own marker. Oh, there's another trader. No way. No, I don't think I marked him on that. I think he's new. So let's put him on the map. And I'm going to put it just above, like that. Wait a minute. Uh, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5. I got so many of these on the map. That's okay, though. When I go discover all the traders, I can take the, the duplicates off the map. So there wasn't one up here, was there, that I discovered? I don't think so. Well, we're definitely going to do treasures tomorrow. I think we're going to do a lot of treasures tomorrow. So anyway, like I said, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. Like, what would you like to see added? Is there a certain mechanic from another game you'd like to see added? Like from Ark or, you know, uh, The Infected, something like that. Um, love, love to hear guys' suggestions. I'm thinking about making a video of just community suggestions. So kind of considering that. So uh, I might use your guys' suggestions in the video. So... Another bird's nest. What do we got up? What is that up there? 
Is that, oh, that might, that's to the south. Oh, is that, oh, that's still the city. Okay, I'm, I'm thinking like, yeah, I'm looking at the city. I'm like, I thought I was far enough outside of the city. I wouldn't see anything like that. So, how much wood do I have? Probably not enough, but let's start making some traps. Let's do um, wood log spikes. Probably need 40. Can I make 40? Yeah, I can make 40. And let's do, um, let's make the rest. How many wood log spikes can I make? 30? That's actually quite a bit. We'll get those crafting. All right. I may run back. Let's run back, see if I have any steel on me that I can repair this fire axe with, because I would like to use this stupid fire axe for this. Let's just run back real quick. Hi, hey, dear. I got enough. I got enough food. Kind of, kind of low on plant fibers, though. Living in the burnt forest, you kind of run low on plant fibers, surprisingly. So, um, I like my little forest. That's pretty funny. But yeah, I had to, to make in those pipe bombs last night. I had to run down and get some uh, plant fibers. Or run out, outside and grab some. So, one of the uh, drawbacks of living in the burnt forest, I guess. All right, let's see if I have some steel. I do not, and I don't have steel unlocked, so this poor guy is going to have to go in here. Darn it. Well, let's make a couple good... I don't have a... I can make a fire, an uh, iron fire axe, though. I, I made up some forged iron last night. Let's just do that. Let's make a... Make it in the workbench. Uh, iron fire axe. Let's craft that. It takes... Actually, well, I won't get credit for that though, will I? No, let's just make it. Let's just make it here, because I won't. I don't think that'll raise my uh, crafting skill if I do it in the workbench. So we'll just do that. I have a couple stone axes I can combine real quick. Well, yeah, stop that. Level one fifty. Let's use a stone axe for a little bit. Why not? All right, let's go harvest some more stuff. I need more wood and stone, of course. And, uh, but yeah, um, any other tutorials you guys want to see me make too for the console version, love to hear it. I've made several of them already, so I don't know what else I can really make, but if there's any other tutorials you guys want to see, please let me know. Uh, be happy to make them or redo a tutorial. If you guys want to see me redo a update a tutorial, a different style or something like that, uh, just let me know. So I'm kind of getting to the point where now it's like, what else do I do for the console version? I mean, I'll, I'll keep playing this series, of course, but like, what else can I do for the console version? Oh, we'll take the sandwich. Why not? Haven't really crafted any of those yet, any of the uh, herbal antibiotics yet, but Oh, we'll get there. All right, I cut down several trees. Still making spikes. Let's go to skills. I just leveled up. What do we want to go into skills? I uh, probably need to go into ammo crafting at some point, but I don't really... Do you need that to, to make gunpowder? I don't think you need that to unlock gunpowder. You need it to unlock bullet tips and bullet casings. Um, but I, I need gunpowder. That's what I really need. Let's do Miner 69er since we're going to be mining a lot, hopefully soon. Let's do that. We'll grab this tree real quick, and then I'll grab some stone, maybe hopefully get some nitrate out of it. But we need to find some nitrate nodes. Or a cave. I take a cave, too. Oh, there's a rock over here. Let's grab this rock real quick. There's a road going off in the distance there. I can see the prairie there, but that kind of looks like maybe wasteland after it, possibly. So I gotta be careful of that. What are we getting out of this? Are we just getting iron out of this? We got lead. Okay, no nitrate. Oh, we got a little bit of nitrate. 21 pieces of nitrate. That's okay. We'll take that. Any other boulders out here? There's some more fertilizer. We'll grab that. 
somebody said in the comments it likes to show up in these kind of like plant fiber patches here and it does look like that so this is definitely a little plant fiber patch there's some fertilizer there i think that's all i'm gonna get that's all right still crafting the traps here's some boulders over let's grab some of these boulders over here Probably got to deal with Bernie, though. He's going to want to come help. There we go. Nothing. Oh, there's a bird's nest. Let's grab that bad boy. Cool. Should have an airdrop coming at some point today, too. Although it came on day 19, which was different. Usually I thought they came on day 21, I thought. So I don't know. Maybe I got my... Maybe I got them mixed up. I don't know. We're getting lead out of this one, but it's usually random, so. We got nitrate, coal, and lead out of that. 47 nitrate. Getting a decent amount of nitrate out of this. Not bad. I like this. Give me some more. Man, if I had an auger or a steel pick, I'd just mine every single one of these small boulders. <laughs> I just wouldn't stop. But this will work. They'll give us some nitrate. So we didn't get anything out of that one. Nothing at all. All right, let's grab one more, and then we need to start placing some spikes, I guess. Get that done. And I'm grabbing stone so I can start making some concrete mix. Uh, I'm not going to be able to make very much at, to start with, but start making some concrete mix. Uh, we're gonna have to pick up all that stuff tomorrow, though. Like, I mean, every the, the cement mixer, the everything. We're gonna have to pick it all up. Thought about leaving the forges because forges are pretty easy to craft, especially when you got a bunch of leather already. So I might leave the forges. I just kind of leave them here, you know. Just craft craft new ones because they're they're easy to craft. So I might do that. I don't know. Whoa! Let's go this way. Tell you what, let's, uh, let's craft some more spikes. How many can I make now? 24. Let's do 15. Let's do, we'll just do 14 because I've landed on that. See how far that gets us. We might need to craft more and gather more wood. So we'll do that. We'll place these spikes and, uh, I mean, we could, I don't think, I don't know if we're going to have time to loot. Usually on Horde Nights, I end up looting and then I don't have my base ready. So I'd really like to have my base ready. Really would like to. 40 of these may not be enough. Okay, so i trying to decide how I want to do it. I think I want to put these on the ground down here. I think that's what I want to do. I can either do that or place them like this. But the problem is they have a chance of just standing on top of them. What I've kind of seen. So let's just do this. I think this works better in the end. Need to get rid of this stuff here. Get some more wood out of it, though. Wood and coal. We need all that. Okay, I think we got the spikes done. I harvest some more wood off camera and put all these spikes down, so... The outside is lined with wood, wood log spikes. And then in the corners, we have these spikes here. And then, so every corner is the same. I, then I lined the spikes with barbed wire fence. So that's how it looks right now. Looking pretty good. I like it. I think we're going to go get geared up for the horde now. And just, uh, yeah, fight this thing. Start off in the center, of course. Do, do, do some melee. And uh, we'll do that. So, yeah, let's go down and see what we have to work with. I'll just throw some stuff in here real quick. Sandwich, glue, got the fertilizer, more raw. Look at that like, raw iron we got. Man, 231. Whereas we came over that much raw iron. Nice. Well, this stuff, I will keep the stone on me just in case I need to repair something. Uh, don't need the feathers or the coal. The hoe. I'll keep some iron on me just in case. I will grab some forged iron. 
out of here. Anything else out of here I want? Duct tape, feathers. I'll bring some repair kits just in case. Nothing in there. We need to make sure we're all healthed up real quick. We'll eat some food. Some bacon and eggs. Drink some goldenrod tea. We'll bring some uh, waters with us just in case I catch myself on fire. We'll bring some, um, bring some honey. Bring some first aid kits and some bandages. Cool. Wellness is up to one fifteen. All right, so we're gonna need. We'll bring our bow, level two eighty seven bow. I need to bring plant fibers too. Where are my plant fibers? Bring plant fiber in case I need to make a new bow. Flaming arrows. Oh, yeah, I'll bring the crossbow bolts. Flaming arrows. Um, let me see. Pipe bombs. Is that it? We don't have a shotgun yet, so there's no sense bringing that. Bring this bow down and repair it. And we'll combine both of these in the workbench real quick. 287, 217, 297. Nice. Bring that down. I know I can nerd craft a bow real quick, but it's all right. I'll play with the game a little bit. So is that all we need? A little, a little light, but I think that's what we need. All right, cool. Run up here. I mean, we do have a little bit of time. I could craft some more, but I kind of want to get up here and just check and see. There's nothing else I'm missing up here. I don't think so. I can see everything. I can take shots of the zombies up here. Take shots at them down here if they're stuck in these. Yeah, this will work out good. But at the beginning, we'll, we'll start. We'll start in these hatches, though. We'll start in the hatches and we'll try to fight them that way. So that's what we'll try to do. I went ahead and crafted another bow just to see what level I'm at. I'm at 287 right now, so I'll run down and combine these two bows real fast. See what... Whoop. I feel like making a level 600 bow gets kind of cheesing a little bit. Level 311, so I try not to do that, but it is fun to do. And the game allows it, so why not? I mean, I'm definitely not saying that's cheating or anything like that. I just feel like it's cheesing a little bit. Um, whether or not that's really true or not. I don't know. Let's get rid of this bird's nest. I'm just see the zombies getting hung up on that. Clear out some of this stuff. Give the zombies any reason not to get hung up on something. Here's what the base looks like from up above. Pretty nice. View from up above. We can kind of look around a little bit. There's our garden and everything. There it is. Not bad. And one more shot I thought I'd get. There we go. Horde base with the blood moon behind it. It's here. Time to get down. Get down off my little uh, screenshot taken pillar. All right. Well, let's get inside. So what I'll do is I think I will leave these... See, I don't mind them coming in a little bit, so I'll close. I just want to open these right here, the first two. Whoop, I don't want to do that. Like this. There we go. Well, I can kind of see where they're coming from, basically. I can always go put down the hatch. Can I reach the hatch from there? No, I can't. So, uh, we kind of do this. I, I Maybe I will just, I tell you what. Let's put down these outer hatches. Let's put those down like that. Oh God. Oh gosh, they're okay. They're coming in. It's working. They're actually pathing right. Cool. This is what I want. I should have brought some beer. Here we go. Some over here. I 
Anybody else? Now right, we got a couple over here. I can't believe that's actually working. This is awesome. Don't be beating on my hatches, guys. Nice. Somebody's getting hurt in the spikes. I can hear it. Yeah, look at that. They come right down. It's perfect. Anybody else? No? You know what? I did not bring down my bow and arrows real quick. Let me bring those down. Switch to the flaming arrow. Let's get some heat going. Oh, yes. Oh, you don't like that, do you? Nice. Harold, how did you do that stuff? Oh, boy. Need to keep an eye on the hatches. This one's getting tore up pretty bad. All right, 11 o'clock. Give you some hot sauce, Harold. There we go. Oh, I like these flaming arrows. He's dead, he's dead. Oh, these are sweet. Yes. I need to also bring down my pipe bombs too. Bring those bad boys down. Also got a hunting rifle I can use and an SMG if I need. And I missed. Right in front of me and I missed. Hey, we leveled up again. Oh, look at the spikes are hurting them. I figured about midnight we'll go upstairs and try out the upstairs. But I love this melee corridor. This is working great. They're actually pathing down. What is this one at? It's at 880. That's fine. Where's my crossbow? I'll just shoot her with my crossbow here. She's dead. Search this body, nothing. There you are. What's up, dude? Here's somebody else. Uh, sh oh, it's just uh, Mick or Crackhead. I used to call him Mick because he looks like Mick Jagger to me. Whoa. Got moves like Mick Jagger, I should say. He's got the moves. Ah, uh, these guys. Oh, I was loaded. That's why you want to build up above you like that. Like I said, they, they will climb on each other once in a while. Whoa, got a couple of you over here. Okay, well, let's get... Um, Let's clear these zombies out and we'll get upstairs. There's quite a bit of zombies here. Freaking die. Whoa, okay, it's time to go up. Where's my ladder? Okay, let's go up. Oh my god, what is going on? Um, not sure what that was all about. Okay, am I up? No, I'm not. Oh, see, I didn't plan for this. Oh, I didn't plan for this. Let me bring down my frames. Wow. Okay, well, the hatch is really screwy. 
All right, let's get some uh, fire down there. Let's see how this works out. Anybody in the corners? And we got some people down here. Oh, I, oh no! Don't pick it up when you're there. Let's just do this. Yeah, don't pick up the frame when you're standing on it. That's not advisable. Alright, let's get a pipe bomb down there. Catch! Oh! You guys like that? Oh, I love it. God, I love it. Who else we got? Now, why is there a... F Did I mess that up? Yeah, because there's a frame block in that one. You see that? I messed that one up. I put the uh, put the block in the wrong spot. So we got some of the corners. Some crawlers over here. I missed. Where's the rest of you? I think I like it better down below. Somebody right here. Mosive right here. Hard to hard to see the aim. Got him. Probably should just use regular arrows. Let's switch to the uh, crossbow so we're not using up all of our flaming arrows. Especially on these crawlers. Oh yeah, look at that. Doing some damage. So nobody's in in the middle yet. Hey okay, guys, you guys can have that one. And my last one. That uh, wasn't a good throw, was it? I got some kills out of it though. It's kind of how I figured they'll do it when we're up above. They'll probably just, you know, head to the point where you're at, basically. And uh, go after that. So, like, this corner here is where I'm at. So this is where they're going to probably go, I guess. So I guess the flaming arrows only get one zombie. He doesn't spread the, uh, the wealth. Works good, though. Yeah, it works really good. It's like one shot kill. You know, they die eventually, basically. Now, I wonder if... Okay, I want to do a test, because all the zombies are here. Let me see what happens when I go down. Will they run around? And do I still have hatches down here? Yeah, I got hatches. Okay. I just want to see if they're going to try to run around or they're just going to hit these blocks. I think they're going to hit the blocks. Oh, here we go. Kurt figured it out. Well, maybe they will run around. Okay. Well, cool. All right, let's get back up here. See if I can actually do this correctly. I think I was stuck on a frame last time, I think. Yeah, we got some people over here. Got the zoomies. Got the twirlers. What do we got over here? A couple crawlers. Dead! 17 skill points, cool. Dead. Is that a dog? Hey, we got our first dog! He's got the zoomies too. The twirling, the twirling zoomies. 
One of these days, I like they're gonna twirl so fast, they're gonna like lift off into the air like one of those old like topper toys. <laughs> and then it's gonna fly up and kill me, probably. Be my luck. Come on. Crawlers and their infinite freaking HP. Catch her on fire. Oh, I like these arrows, man. These are cool. Everybody's on fire. I only got three left. Let's just use them up. Screw it. What else we got to do with them? Harold wants some. Kurt wants some. Oh, that's my last arrow. Incinerary rounds. That's what this game needs. Incinerary rounds. You can catch them on fire with, like, shotgun shells. That's what this game needs. All right. Let's drop down. It's 15 till. Let's drop down here. Now, this one took some damage. Quite a bit of damage, too. Block took some damage. What's up, Mo? Right in the gut. That's where he likes it. He told me that. Um, I'll eat the food. Cool. All right. See, they, these are the crawlers. They, so they do find a way. They will. They they can run around. I'm surprised they do. I figured they would just run into this corner and keep running, but they see this as a path. This this version of the game, they see this as a path to you, and they will actually come over here. This is cool. This is really cool. I think this might be one of the better console pathing bases. I think. I really do. And you're pretty well protected. Like, if you only want to fight them from over here, you can just go put these other hatches up. And they'll be stuck back there. And you can do rain damage. Ranged uh, damage from there if you want. Hunting rifle schematic. We know it. I do hear some movement. My bone shiv's about done, isn't it? I need to make a new bone shiv. What do we got? This side didn't take any... Is it like a wandering horde? Possibly. Or is this the remnants of the horde? Maybe they spawn in at the very last minute. That's quite a bit of you. All right, Moe's dead. Nice, we got 20 skill points. Goodness. All right, let's make a new uh, recipes. Let's make a couple bone shivs. 287, we'll bring that down. Get rid of our old one. Get rid of this one. All right, we'll search those bodies in a second. Let's go search the ones we can carve up. Nothing. Nothing. Lots. I'll take all the animal fat. I'm loving the animal fat to make more uh, flaming arrows. You gotta make tallow from it, so getting animal fat from the bodies. I'm a big fan of these flaming arrows, man. They're cool. I mean, they're kill the zombies pretty fast. Especially if you can get a shot, you know, let them just burn out, basically. Um, I'm gonna scrap the candlestick. We got tons of brass. You know, it's funny in the comments, somebody was roasting me for taking the trophies whole and not scrapping them. And it's funny, I've been roasted a couple of times for scrapping the trophies. So it's like, I get roasted for either side I do. Whatever side I pick, I get roasted from. So it's just funny. 
it's people are always roasting me and my i mean and it's fine too it's it's there, there are people just telling me advice and how to do better and stuff like that it doesn't bother me at all like the roasting doesn't the only thing that ever bothers me ever is when you actually take like attacks at me personally not the content i make but me personally then uh then i'll i'll that's why I'll, I'll step in and own you own you they say um let's put all this stuff up we don't need all this stuff i will keep some first aid kits we'll put uh, the crossbow bolts up let's put the we'll put the iron up too Okay, there we go. It's a little better. Let's scrap these frames too. But yeah, like I said, I don't mind. I really don't mind it. Most of it makes me a better player. It really does. Most of it makes me a better player. So it's once in a while we get a guy that, you know, wants to actually attack me or, you know, put down the stuff I'm making and stuff like that. That's fine. They're usually just jealous. That's all it is. Most of bullies, and I see this with my kids, most bullies are just jealous. They're jealous of something that you have or you do. So that's what most bullies are. Nice uh, football helmets. Uh, I can't repair that one, but we'll take it though. We'll repair it later. And cloth and goldenrod seed. I'll plant the goldenrod seed. Why not? It's such a good plant to have. I mean, it raises your well, and it's such an easy thing to do. Just make those goldenrod teas. Um, facial piercings, we'll scrap them. really don't know the point of those. I really don't know. I know you can wear them, but I don't know. I think it's really that big a deal, is it? Nothing... Some more over here. I have some coin and, well, might repair that cowboy hat. We'll see. Sometimes you can get them to sell up to like 50 or so, which is kind of my limit. That's all using my cutoff is anything above 50 I'll sell. Anything below it, I just scrap it. And as the further you go, you know, I'll, I'll bump that to 100. Lots of animal fat. Awesome. All right, let's see. We got a couple guys in here. Get this guy. Get this guy. Scrap the can. Nothing in there. A couple more here. You get a lot of bodies from this base. I'll say that. It's nice. And like I said, you can double the size of this base if you want, especially for bigger, like the the in-game hordes where you got cops and stuff like that. You might want to, you know, make it a little bigger, but... All right, that's it, guys. I'm going to manage my inventory and try to figure out what we're going to do. I think we're going to go get treasure. What we might do is stay here one more day and just go get those treasures in the morning, come back and manage my inventory is what we might do, because and then leave on day 23. Or leave in the night, or, or leave like towards the end of the night, and we'll just stay somewhere. It's what we might do. So, all right, I'm going to sign off, guys. Catch you guys later. Bye.